What's up everybody, Bootsy Greenwood here. And today I want to talk to you about why jumping timelines is BS, but also it works really good. This little hack helped me a ton. Like it really did. It helped me to understand that I wasn't just having to create everything and do everything myself. That there were actually options and possibilities that were already available to me, okay? And I wanna demonstrate this idea with a couple of different things that I'm gonna show you today. Now I'm out here at this beautiful covered bridge um, and uh, there's some river down below we're gonna explore. We're gonna explore the, the terrain right around here as I talk a little bit about this. We're gonna talk about quantum jumping, reality shifting, jumping timelines, these ideas. And I wanna invite you to connect with me and let me know about your experience. I would love to hear if this idea helps you. Um, I'd love to also connect with you and, and see if, if you want help, uh, if you want information that can be useful, if this makes sense to you and you wanna uh, deepen your journey, you wanna bet on yourself, do the things that are required in order to truly grow and move, then dude, book a call with me. I'll say hello, we can chat for 15 minutes. I'll give you a free gift just for booking the call and taking a risk and dipping your toe in the, in the water and I'll let you know what we're working on. So I invite you to do that. Now let's get into this, why jumping timelines is BS, but also works really good. So this idea of jumping timelines of shifting realities, it makes sense because of the idea of infinity. Okay, it doesn't really make sense from a material perspective, right? Like, if I think about it out here, how am I gonna jump to another timeline? And the way that you think about it in your mind is like, oh, I'm just gonna jump to another timeline, see you guys later, you know? Like, I'm out, peace, I'm gonna go to some other reality that exists. Here's the thing though, there's one material reality, okay? We all contribute and share this physical dream together. We're all impacting it, we're all a part of it, we're all interacting with it, we're all creating. Every single one of us is a creator. We are creating the reality that we are experiencing. And when I, when I say that, I know that that also seems like a stretch, right? Like creating reality, what do you, who do you think you are? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Think about a paint by number or even a coloring book. And some people are gonna paint that thing, the whole thing gray or whatever, right? but you get the opportunity to paint that paint by number, that color, coloring page, exactly however it is that you want to. And that's totally up to you. Now, there are also tons and tons of different ways to color it, right? Like an infinite amount. So there are an infinite amount of people who are coloring their pages in a certain way. The more people that color pages in a certain way, the more that more people perceive those colors in reality, okay? That's kind of a metaphor for groupthink and how we experience certain ideas. And you can see why the media, for instance, would be such a powerful tool to, to use, right? So I'm here down by the river. I love water. I love the way that it flows. Every single moment it's moving, right? So we're, we're sitting here and we're watching this water. It's moving, it's going downstream and it's absolutely gorgeous to watch. I could, I could literally sit here all day and just watch the water move. It's going through a pattern, but it's, it's, it's constantly in motion, okay? I'm the center of awareness, I'm this point, one of the, these points on infinity, on the infinity graph, and everything's in motion. Okay, so I wanna jump from one timeline to another. What does that mean? What exactly is that? Because it's not me just dipping out and supermanning and then being like, peace out, dudes. Like, you know, I'm going to some other reality that's way cooler because there's only this one material reality, okay? We are all sharing this dream. We are all co-creators of it. We all belong to it and it belongs to us. So how do I get to a better life line or timeline or a better reality for myself, you know? Uh, that's basically what we're trying to figure out, shifting into a reality that's more pleasing, right? We wanna see the page colored in a way that we really like. And for us to do that, it's up to us to truly take the power into our own hands and begin to intentionally color those pages. One thing I've said a thousand times, and I'll say it probably a thousand more, is 
you won't complain your way to the top. That's impossible. No one complains their way to the top. We have to learn about appreciation and gratitude. Those are the first and foremost things to understand on this journey of jumping timelines. There's no consequence for gratitude. There is no consequence for gratitude, not whatsoever, not even a little bit of consequence for gratitude. The more gratitude that you have, the more abundant your life is going to become, the more uh, you're going to see the beauty in things, and then the more that you, per the more that you perceive that, the more that you perpetuate that in your reality. Now we're starting to jump timelines. Okay, we see how that works. Um, and we start to see other options and other things in our reality. Now, I wanna take a second and just talk about movement and growth because I'm here in this forest. All of these trees around me are moving and they're all growing all the time, okay? This particular tree grows a certain way toward the light and within it, it has a blueprint. There's a blueprint within this tree that tells it exactly how it's going to grow, what it's going to be, just like you and just like me. We all have a, an, an imprint, a blueprint, an intuitive uh, like shape that our, 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 you know, it's not even our person, but our like ghost has, right? Like our, our essence, we all have that essence. And our job, if we wanna jump to a better timeline and truly get to something that we will absolutely love is to dig deep into that, okay? To be the most authentic version, the most authentic representation of ourselves and match the imprint in the seedling that we are as, as much as we possibly can, okay? That's the number one thing we can do is, is just be more authentic. The more authentic that we are, the more honest that we are, the more we're gonna know what our preferences are, what, our, what we like, what we don't like, and who we really are at a deep, deep level. Now that's gonna help us to define and understand the reality that we wanna create. You don't wanna jump to some random timeline where you're like a baker, but you're allergic to flour. You know, like that's no bueno, nobody wants that. You wanna to shift to a reality, a lifeline, that's suited to you, that's absolutely perfect for you, that's the sweet spot, you're in the pocket, and this is where you wanna be. You're doing the things you wanna be doing with your time. You know, you own your time in the way that you want to own it. So that is the goal. So in order to do that, we wanna really dig down deep and understand exactly who we are so that instead of sabotaging ourselves and building a bear that eats us because we're anxious and we're excited and we're like, I want freedom, I wanna work from home, or I want this, or I want that. Look, there's nothing wrong with having a real job, there's nothing wrong with working for somebody else, there's nothing wrong with um, you know, ha like not pursuing financial success or whatever. It's all about you, it's about what you want and what's pleasing to you, you know, instead of trying to become like a carbon copy of somebody else, which so often happens. Uh, that's really what a lot of these ideas are for, um, is to, they, is, is, you know, people, they're like, come in, I'll show you how to do stuff. And then they show you how to do what they did and they expect that to work for you. But here's the thing, there, there are multiple paths. There are infinite ways to the top of the mountain. It's about suiting you and understanding yourself. So the more authentic you can be, the better you are going to be able to jump timelines. Now, jumping timelines is not shifting to another reality completely, but it's really about subje subjectively enhancing your experience. And the more that you subjectively enhance your experience by positive feelings, feeling grateful, letting go of trauma, recapitulating, integrating all the things and accepting yourself as you truly are, then the more you're going to shift your perspective, your, your, your point of awareness, the one that is not moving, into a better one for you, right? Into one that you appreciate more, you're more engaged in, you're more satisfied by. And then there will be an objective shift in the tone of your lifestyle, in the way that you react and interact with people, and in how you live. Basically, you get to define that at a certain point. Once you've, once you've leveraged this state over and over and over and over, then you begin to climb higher and higher and higher and you get better and better options, better and better possibilities. You get 
you get the option to do things that sometimes you didn't even know was possible. Like, you're like, oh, this is a perfect match. This is perfectly suited for me. And I didn't even know it existed. Things like that will happen. So as BS as it is, because it's like, dude, there's one reality. You don't just jump out to another timeline. You know, that's dreaming. Um, that's when we swim into the depths of the infinite minds when you're asleep, right? And you can, in, you can encounter this in a mental way as well as, as a creator, because I believe we are all creators. We are truly all creators. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for creators. I'm looking for people who are ready to, to do their thing and give their work to the world. I wanna share information with you that has helped me and to be able to do that and to be able to help several other people <laughs> do the same thing. And it's, it's, it's exciting, it's empowering. Uh, but yet, you know, you have to take some sort of a risk and you've got to bet on yourself. Or, you know, you can just kind of hang back, you know, and just be where, be where you are. But if you're looking to grow, if you're looking to push, get, get a little bit more sunlight as that tree, get a little bit more water. Um, and basically you're a fire and we want to, we want to give you some gas and just, and watch you really jump up like a rocket ship, you know, or whatever. Um, that's really my goal. And that's why we're making content and doing the things that we're doing. We have some amazing podcasts coming out as well. Absolutely free. Paranoid American has been sharing us uh, a lot about the Illuminati. We've had Joe Roop on talking about magic. Just these episodes alone can really help you. And these videos that I'll be making, I'm going to make a whole series of in the woods and doing stuff around. And I'm so excited to be able to share some of the things that I'm truly passionate about and I love with you. Um, and um, yeah, so, so, so definitely subscribe to the channel. I say all that to say, book a call. There's a link beneath or else go to bluecollarmystics.org. Check out all the things we have there. Book a call with me. I'd love to say hello. I'd love to you know, connect with you. And if you're vibing with this video, then we definitely have something in common. So it'd be nice to say hi, hit me up um, and uh, we'll chat and we can talk about options. I'll give you something absolutely free that will be totally worth your time. And then, you know, we'll take it from there. But I just wanna say thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, share the information, check out our podcast. It's going really well. We have some awesome episodes coming out. We're gonna be talking with the producers of The Anarchists as well, coming up in a couple of weeks. So do all those things. I hope this has been helpful. Jump timelines and uh, learn a little bit more about reality. I'll go a little bit deeper into this later on. Maybe we can talk a little bit about the Mandela effect and how I perceive that. Um, but for now, I just wanted to start off with something very practical, and that's elevating your experience into a better objective reality. And the way to do that is through gratitude, integration, and authenticity, number one. You know, if you're out there and you're not being yourself, you, you're lying to yourself, you're telling yourself you want something that is not really for you, then you're basically wasting your time. So before we build a rocket ship that goes somewhere, let's make sure that it's aimed in the right direction and let's shoot for that. And uh, that's a much preferable experience than, you know, rocket shipping over uh, into the drink. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, all that. Peace. See you next time.